Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom and I are making two resin key holders. We found these keys at a local craft store, and I'm just going ahead and removing the hooks. We'll be using liquid latex to protect the back of these keys while we're pouring. I pour some into a small cup and then pour near the edges. I find that this is a lot easier and more convenient than using tape, and it works just as well. We put on the liquid latex at night and came back the next morning. Now that the latex is dry, we're going to be propping the keys up onto cups. We mixed up our part A and part B resin, and we're going to be doing a base layer with just resin's titanium white pigment paste. We mix the pigment in the container before taking a small amount on our wooden stick and adding it into our cup of resin. I start to pour the resin onto the keys, and with a makeup brush, I'm spreading it around the whole area. I continue to spread the resin and I also add more white pigment to make it more opaque. This first layer is just to level our surface because the keys are not leveled, so if we want to do our design right away on this not leveled surface, it wouldn't stay in place since resin is self-leveling. You always want to make sure that your surface is leveled. We allowed that layer to dry and came back the next day and mixed our part A and part B resin. This time my mom is mixing in the white pigment since I tend to have a problem with not adding enough pigment. So to ensure that it's opaque, she'll be using a generous amount of Deepon's Ocean Wave pigment paste. She continues to add more pigment and checks the opacity by using this blue tinted wooden stick. Now we're adding in our gold pigment and we're using Bright Gold by Just Resin. We repeat the process of mixing the pigment in the container and adding a small amount into a small cup of resin. Now that our pigments are ready, we start to pour our white pigmented resin onto our keys. We're using a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and removing it very quickly not to burn the resin. After my key is completely covered with white pigmented resin, I start to add the gold pigmented resin into a few small areas, which is super secret so my mom is kindly covering for me. But now that the secret is out, I start to slightly blend it with a wooden stick and add more gold pigmented resin in areas. Now my mom is ready to start adding in her gold pigmented resin as well, and she's using the wooden stick to help drag it across the area of the key, and I follow. and to achieve thicker lines, she's pouring straight out of the cup. And here I start to use a heat gun to blow out some of the areas with the gold pigmented resin. Then my mom uses the heat gun as well.
and we continue to play around with the composition and adding more gold pigmented resin or white pigmented resin. Here I start to break up some small pieces of gold leaf flakes and add it into small areas on the key. The next day, my mom decided that she wanted to add a little bit more onto her key, so she mixed up her resin and is now adding just resin's bright gold pigment into a small cup. And she starts by pouring her resin onto the key, which she mixed in a tiny bit of white pigment so that it's very transparent. She has a small cup of clear glass and pours it onto very small sections of the key. And this will create a very beautiful geode effect. She adds the glass in a few more areas and then starts to add the gold pigmented resin around the glass to highlight that area. And she uses a heat gun to gently blow out some of the gold pigmented resin. After this layer has dried and we've added our top coats onto the keys, she's able to remove the liquid latex. If there's a lot of drops that have cured onto the liquid latex, the easiest way to remove them is by heating up that area with the heat gun. She's also using an X-Acto knife to help peel off some of those resin drops. Now we're able to put the hooks back in, so with a ruler she's measuring and marking where to drill. You want to be extra careful to use the right size piece for your drill so that your holes are not too big. I'll have Amazon affiliate links in my description, so if you're interested in purchasing any of these products, be sure to check that out. Now that there are holes in the keys, the hooks can be easily screwed back in.
And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.